Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Hank here. Um, so this look, this first tutorial I'm gonna do for you guys is inspired by two things that I love, fall and glam. So it's a full face glam using fall tone colors and I really hope you enjoy it. First thing I'm gonna be using is the Anastasia Brow Pro Palette. It, there's a lot of colors of option, options to use from this but the dark brown is literally my favorite color it can be used on almost any skin tone and i'm doing i'm using an angled brow brush first i always start with my brows because it frames the face and then i can start working from there so whenever i do my brows i always like starting from the bottom and then from the bottom i'll have it more defined and then i feather it up to the top if you want more of a fluffier brow like a thicker brow you can always add more and then define it out. But I, I kind of like my brows to be a little bit more defined. My brows are uneven. So on my right brow, I have to draw it a little bit lower. The next thing I'm gonna be using is from Hot Makeup Professional. Uh, it is their Tint and Scent Brow Gel. Uh, the problem I seem to have with brow gels is sometimes uh, there's a little bit too much metallic in it. So when it dries, it looks really ashy. This is just pure color. It has a little bit more of a golden hue to it. And I like that because sometimes I make my brows too chola out and it's like real dark. So don't put too much or it's gonna look nasty. So you can see there's already a difference. It's a little bit lighter. Just makes your brows look softer. Next thing I'm gonna use, uh, this is from The Brow Gal. I just got introduced this, introduced to this brand from my friend Hillary, and I'm obsessed. Uh, they have a lot of uh, really, really pigmented products. They have a really cool brow pomade too. It's like you can use it wet or dry. But I like using this for this, um, what is this? This is their highlighter pencil in shade 01. I like using it right underneath my brow. For highlight, you gotta you gotta get that highlight underneath that bro. So now your brows have a lot more definition, and uh, the highlight is especially when you do the eyeshadow really really pops it out. Now this look is a real, it's it's a uh, fall appropriate with a little pop of color in the lips so. We're gonna be using a lot of reds and a lot of browns, my favorite colors. Sorry. So for my for my eyes, I always use a Max Full Coverage as eyeshadow base. I feel like it really just helps the pigment stick on. A lot of people use eyeshadow primers, but I I really like for me. I don't have uh, I have really dry lids, so I never really need them. And sometimes when I feel you put too much on, too many layers, I make some crease anyways. So this is NW. 20 in the matte full coverage and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid if you don't know about max full coverage You can usually get them at the I think you can get them at the pro stores I've been using this product religiously for like 10 years. I love it. And then I also I'm gonna put a little bit lower And we're done. Thank you for coming. Just kidding. Okay, so now for the eyes. I, so these are all for Makeup Geek thing. Like, I love Makeup Geek's eyeshadows. Um, I'm going to be using these colors right here as my transition colors. I'm a really big fan of using uh, warm tones to um, help blend out colors and um, darker, darker browns to add depth in the corners. So I'm going to be using Morocco, Chickadee, and Tiki Hut. And this is a 266 brush from MAC. It's my favorite brush. I like brushes that are have only a little bit of hairs at the end because for me it's easier to blend. With the fatter brushes, I feel like I wind up blending up to my brows. I know that's horrible. So I always blend my colors right where my eyelid folds. 
and then I blend them upwards. I try to blend really, really softly. It's always easier to add than it is to take away. So one of my favorite pigments, I, I'm so obsessed with this pigment. It's from Sugar Pill and it is called Penelope. That's the color I'm gonna be using all over my lid. Penelope from Sugar Pill. Bomb. So I'm gonna use a flat brush and just put it all over the lid. Now for a little pop of color, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite colors right now from the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. It is the color Velvet. And I'm gonna be using it under, and then I'm gonna buff it out. This color is really, really vibrant. This palette has packs pigment like crazy. And then I'm gonna blend the bottom of this with Morocco. I'll show you. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Penelope underneath. Okay, so now we're gonna start on my foundation. So I always, you know, got a lotion and prime. I love the Hydromat from Embryolisse. It literally, it, it helps me. I don't really have, I have an oily T-zone, but everywhere else is really, really dry. And this helps balance out both. And so for my primer, I'm going to be using Elsie's uh, Pearl Radiance Primer. And as you can tell, I love it. This is my second bottle. So as you may notice, I am a guy. So I always have a five o'clock shadow um, because I have a beard. So for any of you guys or ladies who got a five o'clock shadow, this uh, orange corrector from LA Girl is bomb. I always use it, one, because it helps correct my face, my colors. The formula is, is not too dry and not too creamy. Sometimes color correctors are way too creamy and when that happens, I feel like it just mixes with the foundation and that's never good. So next thing I'm gonna be using is one of my favorite, this isn't really a concealer, it's a concealer foundation. It's the Central Skin Enhancer from Kevin Aquan. Uh, this color is SX02. It's really, really light, but I like putting it on beforehand because when I put the foundation over, it blends really, really well with it. And I always bring it to my upper lip as well just because I wanted to go over that uh, orange corrector um, and it really blends everything out. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna be using is LA Girl's new, um, what is this, Pro Coverage High Definition Liquid Foundation. Uh, it's not a waterproof, but it's banging. And this, uh, just came out, but it, the coverage is really awesome. It's really good if you have dry skin. It's a little bit more on the oilier side than it is the dry side. So uh, it gives you a really, really nice satin finish. Um, and because I had the primer, it usually helps dry it down a little bit. So I'm going to be using the shade 43. So I'm gonna be putting this on with a Sigma 3D, or three, no, wait, what is it? 3D HD Kabuki brush. After I go in with the Kabuki brush, I like going in with a smaller brush just to blend out everything so it's nice and even. Next thing we're doing is contour. So this this is from a JD Weighty 180s collaboration with Luxie. Um, this is brush 181. Uh, this end part is so soft, it's so nice to blend. Whenever I blend contour, I like to blend really, really softly. And then this is good for actually applying it. So I'm actually gonna be using Dark Cocoa from Alley Girl. So 
So when I contour, I always do uh, my cheeks, a little bit of my nose, and then I will bring some of the excess to my forehead so that it looks even. And then also, I'm going to put a little bit right here to take away this double chin because it's real and it's rude. So now I'm gonna set it with a powder. My contour for the most part is always cream. I do not like powder contours only because I feel for the most part, they're really gray undertoned. On my skin tone, gray undertone contour powders are not cute. So for my powder, I'm going to use LA Girl again. This one is their pro face. When I'm just doing boy makeup and I just wanna like even up my face, it is perfect. It has medium coverage, which is perfect. I don't like when there's too much coverage. I feel when a powder has too much coverage, it sucks into the foundation. It changes the entire color of your face. So I'm gonna use a Smith 112 brush, which is one of my favorite brushes that they have. And I'm just gonna lightly put it all over. And then I do go over my contour with a little bit of bronzer as well, matte bronzer. So next I'm going to be using um, bronzing powder from MAC, Refined Golden. It's one of my like go-tos. Then I'm gonna apply it with a dose of colors powder brush. These brushes are so soft. So now for blush, I'm gonna be using Hot Makeup's Wanderlust Blush. I think you can see it there. Um, it has a really nice peach undertone. This color works on virtually every skin tone. So I just like to pop it a little bit on the cheeks. And then after I put on my highlight, I actually put a little bit over it too. Sometimes I'll look a little ashy. So I put the orange back over it to warm it up a little bit. So now for my highlight, I'm going to be using a Luster from Galactic, Super pigmented. And it's really, really creamy for a powder. It goes on just amazingly. I also like putting a little bit on my lip because apparently that's what all the cool kids do. Just pops it out a little bit, right? All right, so now I'm gonna use a lip liner from OCC. It's called Trick. Is that the name? Yeah, Trick. I love it. I use it, I use it to line my lips for any color just because it's a real neutral color. But I, I always like using a lip liner even with liquid lipsticks because it kind of helps me set a sketch of what I want the lip, liquid lipsticks to do. Because sometimes I put on liquid lipsticks and then it's uneven. I wind up going like all the way to my nostrils. It's horrible. So next I'm going to use a gloss from Smashbox. It's called Bare Light. Uh, these smell amazing. And because I used the foundation all over my lips, I didn't really need a lipstick. That's why I only lined it. And then after I lined it, I put on the gloss and now it gives it dimension. So my lips actually look bigger and I didn't have to buy a lipstick. <laughs> so for my mascara, I'm gonna use Smashbox for exposure. I think this one is indecent exposure. This mascara is super black. Uh, um, it's literally one of my favorite mascaras because it is like dark, dark, and I have a lot of problems. Sometimes mascaras just dry really great, really ashy on me. So the lashes I'm gonna be using are from B Bella Cosmetics. It's the design Sandy. I really like these because they flare out. I usually tend to double stack these because I like double stacking my lashes because it brings all the drama. Uh, but I decided to only use a single pair of lashes today. So I usually don't put eyeliner on uh, just because uh, I feel the more eyeliner you put on, the smaller your eyelids look. So I do put eyeliner right into the center. And this is the line art from LA Girl. So this is a look. The final thing I'm gonna do is just set this with, uh, what is this, Jarred Cosmetics Slay All Day in Peach. I love the way these bad boys smell and keeps your makeup on all day. So here's the final look. 
I'm so excited to be back on YouTube. I hope you guys loved it. Please let me know what you think. Leave comments below. Give me some, some, some suggestions on what you would like to see. And um, subscribe, like, or do both. <laughs> and again, thank you for uh, you know taking a moment of your day and sharing it with me. So until next time, bye guys.